Let's chop it up with your boy Zaz. <laughs> Ah, uh, you ready? No chase this you. Hey, 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 yeah, hey. Let's chop it up. Let's chop it. Let's chop it up. Let's chop it. Yeah, let's chop it up. Let's chop it up. Let's chop it up. Let's chop it. All right, this is Let's Chop It Up with Zaz, and we got here today Lord Goat. What's going on, Lord Goat? What's happening, brother? Peace, peace. How you doing, man? Pretty good, pretty good, man. So so give us an update, man. What you been up to? You've been very busy, man. I'm trying to stay busy. You know what they say, you know, staying busy uh, keeps you out of trouble. So, you know, just, just definitely staying busy. We got the new record, Final Expenses, which uh, dropped last week, well, a little, maybe maybe 10 days ago. Um, it's still fairly new. We just dropped it, and and yeah, man, I'm I'm glad that that people are responding to it. Um, you know, it took a minute, but I thought the whole time that I really didn't want to just put something out that really wasn't gonna stick. So that's really, you know, plus you know, trying to be uh you know somewhat of a perfectionist sometimes backfires. But you know, the whole point is I just wanted it to be right because it took a minute. So. Hey, well, this is it was it was perfect. The timing was right. Everything was perfect. Uh, it was like the perfect mesh. You know what I mean? We 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 you yeah. and uh and 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 Stu, man. You guys have a great connection when it comes to making uh, you know, the production and the song and all that stuff. Everything is like great. Yeah. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, Stu. You know, I mean. Anybody could see lately, Stu's been going nuts. He's been going haywire. Isn't he? Isn't he? Isn't he? I can't, you know, it's hard for me to keep up with him. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. not in a good way. It's just he's wilding out. So, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. You, you know, it, it's it's like, you know, he, you know, he's made, so, he makes so many beats, but I think, um, I think the good chemistry lies because he knows, he usually knows what, what I would probably be into. So it's yeah. not like I got to go through 600 beats of some, you know, like through somebody else or just, you know, he generally kind of knows where I'm, you know, what, what points I'm trying to hit. You know what I'm saying? So I think, I think in that way, I think it works, you know, I mean, you know, it's like at the same time, he works with a lot of people, but we have, we got our own, which is good, but we got our own chamber right now. You know what I mean? So it's like what, you know, so it's definitely, it's definitely working out. Yeah. And then, you know what, as a producer, that's hard to do, man. His- well, it's hard to it's hard to it's hard to create and not in that um and not repeat yourself constantly of what exactly. you're trying to do, you yeah. know. So, so I I definitely I I definitely give him props for um for that and you know for all the all the work he's done in the last couple of years with Bill and just just with a bunch of people, you know what I'm saying? So I know he he I mean I know he loves doing what he does, so it definitely keeps oh, his yeah, batteries man. charged. So when I get new when I get joints from him. I'm already like, yo, I, I I could write to this and 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 you know, and and somewhere within that parameter, that's maybe where like whatever you know, whatever chemistry or whatever magic you know occurs. You know what I'm saying? So, wow. But wow. yeah, man. But yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely. Shout out to Stu Bangers, right? Yes. Now, yeah. Shout out to Stu, man. You definitely uh, killing it. We're we gonna we gotta get you up here one day, Stu. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you nah, know, any, we we could do, you know, we could yeah. we could definitely come back with the both of us. So. Definitely, definitely. So we just want to say to you, thank you for all your hard work in your career. You know, longevity from the nonfiction and to your to your personal, you know, solo career. You know, we just want to say that we acknowledge you and 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 you definitely represent the right way. So how was it when you was with nonfiction? And to be honest with you, I was literally like right there in the middle of it. I watched you guys grow, uh, yeah. from you guys and arsonists and, and all that. Cause I'm from New York. So I was living in yeah. Brooklyn at the time. Yeah. So I, I saw you guys, man. I saw you guys coming up. How was that for you, man? Being young and, 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 and taking it all in like that. How was that for you? Oh, uh, I mean, it's, it's hard to put in the words because when you go through something, you're not really analyzing it. That it's 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 a moment 
you know, that might be historic. You know, you just kind of like, you know, you're wide eyed like any hip hop fan or like anybody who, who chose to, you know, emulate their favorite rappers if they want to be Rakim or Kane or, you know, Lord Finesse or, you know, whoever, you know. But when things started happening, you just kind of felt like there was an energy, but it wasn't anything necessarily like, oh, we're going to start this like, you know, this like New York or, you know, just with other groups as well. It wasn't this like coalition thing. It was just, we kind of looked around at one point. It was like, oh, there's something, there's something going on. But, you know, we couldn't really put our finger on it. At the same time, you didn't really want to overanalyze it, you know, like whatever might have been happening. It was just, you just wanted to expand on it, you know? So it was, it was, it, you know, it was an experience. I mean, it was like, uh, you know, it's ups and downs, you know, it's ups and downs in the beginning through the middle and even towards the end. But if there wasn't those ups and downs, you probably wouldn't appreciate, you know, the good yeah. and the bad. So, you know, but no, it was, it was, I, I think the first time we went to Europe was probably a, a, a big thing for everybody, you know, because we never, you know, we never been out of the country. And the first time we went to Europe was with uh, Bobito. Mm. So that was that was interesting because it was us, it was the arsonists, um, it was Cold Flow, and it was it was the Ross Killed Festival, and uh, yeah, I mean it was surprising because we didn't know that the records that we made and stuff that you know people let alone had them, but they were fanatical about them. Oh, we thought man. maybe a few people. Yeah, it was cool. It was cool, and it was just all our minds were blown because you know at that at that point we were just kind of all on the same level it was like you know company flow you know lp was just happy that somebody liked his records you know yeah. that somebody in that cared enough to you know so we were all you know we were all kind of novices at that time we had experience in new york and stuff and we, you know we'd done shows but going to europe was definitely a, a big a big deal and uh, just seeing all the all the people that recognize the stuff and then over the years you know being able to I guess we we were we were extremely lucky to be able to build a fan base that grew with us, which you know I guess it doesn't it doesn't happen all the time like that. Yeah, and it's still to this day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, which was which you know it, which it was great because you know we we would just we went back to Europe last year, and um, okay. and you know to keep it real, it was like it was magnified. It was better than it was better than what it was when that when that happened originally when it was. Like oh three, and we we were all surprised. We were all surprised, I and mean, we were happy that there's interest. Period. So yeah. we get there, and it's just like minimum. You know, the smallest places was was six hundred people, seven hundred people. That's amazing. So, so it was it was it was it was it was a good feeling, and it was, you know, it, you know, it's bittersweet in a sense because it's good because you feel like you know it's great, but you know there's times like we, you know, I felt like, oh, we should have put a record out. We could have had another, you know, we should have just done this for the fans kind of thing. Yeah. You know, put a new record out. And see, but the thing is, it's like, you, you, it's a double-edged sword because you want to please the fans and please the supporters, but it's also got to be organic, you know, and it's, and, and you know, I, I mean, you know, throughout the years, it's like, if something doesn't feel right, I'm not going to do it. You know, and it's like if, it, if I if I shoot both of my feet off, I still ain't doing it if it ain't right, if it don't feel right. Yeah, I totally understand, yeah. man. Yeah, because so, I, I was always wondering, like, you know, not not to put you on a spot or anything like that, but you know, pe pe people want to know what 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 what's been holding back, like, for coming out with another album. Is it the personal uh, solo projects that you guys have going on? Because I know you guys are always working. So yeah, it's, it's not, it's not, I mean, you know, it's not necessarily that. I mean, if you want to, if you want to go back a few years, I mean, there was like legal difficulties, which everybody knows about. It's like, mm -hmm. I can talk about it. It's like, it's not really, you know, it's whatever, but, um, you know, with the company Gore-Tex, that, that definitely fucked me up for a few years. Yeah, I remember that. Because, you know, I mean, that, that definitely messed me up for five years. People don't know that, but. Um, I mean, it's not, it's not like, you know, I'm not crapping on them because ultimately I work something out with them, you know what I'm saying? But that, that's a whole, that's a whole different thing. But the fact is at least five years, they were, they were making things very difficult down to the fine print of, well, you can do a show and you can.
can say your name is Gore-Tex, but you can't promote this, and then you can't do that. And then you can't do a record and use the name Gore-Tex. You can't sell any T-shirts. I mean, it was all these clauses and all these things, and it just got to be ridiculous. So, you know what, though? Like me, when I heard about that, I looked at that situation like, damn. He's making that much noise that he got the attention. <laughs> oh. Well, well, I, well, well. Listen, the way the way you're looking at it makes it sound better than it was. Reality, yeah, no, 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 just, definitely. I know. Right, right. In reality, it's just a dirty rat. You know what I'm saying? The dirty yeah. rat called the company and they did what they did. It's not, you know. Yeah. Well, that's that's uh. Well, because they would, because they, because you know, and I, and, you know, and it don't matter because we're talking about it. So like, I don't really, I don't really care. I have nothing to hide. But it's like the lawyer already, you know. The lawyer already told me it was a rat, you know? Wow. This lawyer has no, the lawyer's not even, you know, you're not even supposed to really go there. But because of going back and forth for months and just, it just got really weird. And it's like, it's not, it wasn't really a secret, you know? Yeah. Um, You know, because regardless, like, yeah, I was selling a lot of merch at one point, which, which is true. I was making noise, but not enough that anybody at that company would really know, you know, it's just, and you know, and nobody else was even, nobody gave a fuck about their company <laughs> before I did. And it was just really weird. That's you know? true, because man. That then I got true. companies like talking to me. And I mean, you know, then lawyers are calling me, you know, different guys. And, you know, up until six months ago, they're asking me, oh, well, we see Gore-Tex videos on YouTube. I'm like, right, because 300 people upload them. That's their channels. What are you talking about? Yeah. Like, you know, now you got people that have no idea even how, like, digital age media works and stuff. And I'm like, listen, everything that was under Gore-Tex is taken down. There's no art of dying up there from myself, you know. Yeah. So it's just, it's just, so it's, you know, it, it is what it is. It got to be a headache, you know. And, and you know, everybody goes through their own shit. Life is life. Is life. You know what I'm saying? There's other, there's other things, you know. So... Whether or not that answers your question, you know what I'm saying? Because there's always, you know, there's even stuff I, you know, stuff I I'm not going to talk about here. But but no, you know, definitely, I, definitely. I, I was I I was working. Put it that way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was definitely working. So, you know, ultimately, listen, ultim- ultimately, and you know, I speak to people all the time, not as supporters. You know what I'm saying? And of course, they wish that there was more music at one point, or if I put out more albums. But honestly, it, it and it sucks in that sense. But I'm glad I didn't, you know, because they wouldn't they wouldn't be right. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be it wouldn't be correct. So, you know, it's 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 like I don't really regret that. Yeah, I was going to say, man, it was it was definitely worth the wait. That's all I could say. You know what I mean? And you definitely reinvented yourself. Because you know, to go to go through that, it's like some people be like, you know what, forget this, man. I ain't even messing with this. But you you kept it on, man, and you you put you put that you put that out and, and look at the responses getting. No, nah, no, nah. I mean it's 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 you know, people showing love, that's much appreciated, you know. At the same time, of course, there's always a lot of people that they got a problem with it or something, you know what I'm saying? They like, you know, they they scared to support somebody or they act like it costs money out of their pocket to like something of yours on, on, on Instagram or some bullshit, you know, which is a joke to me, you nah, know, I'm gonna but break that, I'm going to break that down for you. Bro. That's a, but that's a whole other, listen, that's a whole other, <laughs> that's a whole other gimmick, you know? Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, well, to, to me, to me, to me, Lord, I think that, you know, it's not like us. Like we, 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 you know, like we, we go ahead and we give the props, you know, we, we give the praises, you know, cause, cause we actually love this. You know what I mean? We've been, We've been in this forever. But the thing is, these people that are listening, that started listening now or just found out, instead of praising, they go, as ah, I, I mean, I ain't messing with it. Yeah, really? Yeah. Well, why would, listen, listen, not even to interrupt you, but why would anybody be that impressed at all with 300 records coming out every week? No, but none of these people could be impressed about anything. No, you're right. You're they're right. just happy. They're just happy somebody gave them bread to press vinyl. Yeah, and, and and those people that are generally pressing the vinyl, their only fetish is pressing vinyl because they want to see three hundred colors. They don't even care about the artist. No, they don't. So now you're talking about a weird game and a weird middleman, and it's like that's that's the shit I'm not into. That's what that's what I don't need. Yeah, you know what I'm saying it's like you know I don't play that game. I don't care about who's at the cool lunch 
table and you know who's cool this week and who's greasing whose hands about I don't care about none of that. I don't care if none of them dudes like me or not. You'll know who the fuck I am. I don't care if it, 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 that's you know you that doesn't even, that, that don't even matter to me anymore. Like exactly. Stuff like that. Stuff like that as an artist, maybe a few years ago or you know ten years. It, that's you know it's it's like come on man. That's that if 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 you know people see the joke shit that's going around right now and it's it's ridiculous. We don't even have to go there, but you know. Yeah. But that being but that being said, there's quality stuff too. Yeah. Oh no, of course. You kidding there's, me? That, there's there's yo there's crazy stuff, and it's like I get and and I give props to whoever. You know what I'm saying? And I know various people. I see them around. Yo, you know, it's love. I don't feel insecure about um supporting another artist, or even just the most you know minimal the most minimal things. It's like what do you you know? But I don't you know. Yeah, I I don't get it. I don't really. Oh care. well, we never we never will, man. And it it's okay. It don't matter. I don't care. You know, it's but, just. You know. But listen, that that transition, right, <clears throat> from the original name that you had, and then to what you changed it to Lord Goat. Yeah. That that was that was that was amazing, man. So what 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 made uh, you go with that? What was the transition with that? Uh, I mean, I know you thought about it for a while. Well, the thing is, you know, having any kind of name is difficult because everything is copyrighted. There's, or there's 15 dudes from Kansas that nobody heard of that rap in the bar. And they got the name. You know, and they got all the names. You know, you can't pick a name. But, you know, the GOAT thing was just kind of like something like even back to the Art of Dying thing where it was just like an alias that wasn't really used. You know, mm. so it was just, you know, I just kind of felt it just fit in. I'm not saying. Like, you know, because I listen, I, you know, I know some people, some of these dudes, they look at the playlist like, who the fuck is this dude? You know what I'm saying? They don't know, but, man. But, but, <laughs> yo, 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 that's, but that's cool. But that's cool with me. And yo, I don't have a problem with that. You know, because it's like, I, I, it's like, I'd rather be anonymous. I don't need, I don't care about, you know, having a big name connected to something, to something. It's that, that's irrelevant to me, you know? But, but I'll tell you one thing, though. You can't. I appreciate, pop- no, I appreciate you dig the name. I'm saying, I, 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 I that's love, but. You know, I mean, the name honestly just came to me in a dream when, you know, like as far as using the LG, that was like a dream. But like the GOAT was something I've had for years. Then now all of a sudden it's like everybody's the greatest of all time. It has nothing to do with that. So I'm not saying I'm using that name because it has anything to do with being egotistical or, or anything. You know what I'm saying? So it has nothing to do with me, you know thinking i'm superior just if you like if you know you know you know what i mean no if no you know the art of, if people know the art of dying then you'll know but if you don't know you might think i'm just some new dude that you know which is cool you could think just you know but you're gonna hear it when you hear what it is then you know it's like i didn't just start rapping a year ago exactly <laughs> i didn't just get a piece made up by one of these guys with a skeleton exactly and i'm just like i'm rapping now about dark shit you know what i mean like nah i mean you know but listen, man, you you definitely you did it right, man. I, I, listen, me myself, I'm a huge fan of yours, man, and I'm like so proud, man. When I saw that, I was like, oh, I already I knew who it was. Exactly. When as soon as I heard you, like when you dropped that, that, co- that coffin syrup, I said, oh, yeah. I know who that is. I said, oh man, this is great. So well, you know, I was like, worked. yeah, man, it worked out. I think for you, it worked out great. Listen, everything happens for a reason, brother, and and trust me, man. You are showing up on a lot of people's top lyricists of the year. That's okay? awesome. That's awesome. You're Word. up. You're up there, and trust me, you're on almost every list that I've seen so far. And they'll be putting that out, I think, next month or the month after that. So trust me, brother. You, you, people listening to you, people, people hearing you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, I mean, yeah, I appreciate that. That's that's. So yeah, look, that's serious, man. Word. That's let's, serious. Let, let's talk about that coffin syrup, right? To me, yeah. cough, coughing syrup was like, I've been doing it. I, I'm, I'm still doing it. I ain't going nowhere. You know what I mean? You know what it is. Because you got a distinct, d- distinctive uh, voice. You know what I mean? So your voice, like, it rides on those tracks, like, perfectly, man. I don't think, I mean, I could, I could name a, handf- a handful of people that, you know, could rhyme and, and actually flow with the, with, with, with the beat like that, like you do. You know what I mean? So... Coffin, sure. coffin syrup was like a, what was it like? A, I, I could say some people might say it's a mixtape, but to me it's like, it's, it's, just, it's just a well put together project with some, some great beats and, 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 and rhymes. So yeah, how, no, how did that come about? 
I mean, originally you could say it was a mixtape because ultimately it was. Um, it was just originally much longer. There was a lot of stuff that, um, stuff that over the years I wasn't, I didn't really like as much. So I really wanted to do something condensed where it was just the stuff I really liked, you know what I mean? And then worked on that where I just really kind of remixed it and just added stuff and, and stuff that would make it a much better listen because I just wanted people to hear the new and improved version. I wasn't too crazy about the, about the original version, you know what I mean? So, um, you know, yeah, I mean, there's, there's some, you know, there's obscure stuff on that. There's stuff that, um, uh, we remixed. There's a, there's a couple of new remixes and stuff. Um, that was just me just trying to put something out there again, just to, um, for people that were asking me, you know, that, that, that have, you know, like re- they had really bad quality versions of, of, uh, of coffin syrup. Oh, okay. So, so, you know, yeah. So, you know, the whole idea was to put it, to put it out on vinyl and just to remix it and just make it so it actually sounds good where you could actually listen to it on, on, on whatever different system and it sounds right. Cause I never liked the way it sounded originally. Yeah, no, but it definitely sounds great now. <laughs> Word. Nah, good looks, man. Good looks. Definitely, man. And then, um, you know, this, this final expenses, man, fi- final expenses, Man, it was like it was like a surprise, but it was like a bomb. You know what I mean? Like when I first heard it, I was like, "Oh man!" I just kept hearing it, hearing it, hearing it, hearing it, and still to this day, right now, I'm still listening to it. You know, the the whole time. So how did so? What's the process for Lord Lord Goat to make to make yeah, a project? What what's the, what's the process? Uh, I mean, for you, that it depends. It depends. It depends who it is. I mean, it depends also. Um. Yeah, it depends on the beats. It depends on everything. I mean, there has to be chemistry with whoever I'm working with. I don't really work with people I don't like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I see a lot of <laughs> there's, there's some weird stuff going on, but it's, I, I, you know, I don't really have anything to do with that. I fuck with people I like and respect and all that, and you know, so that 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 goes into the that goes into the mix early on, so we kind of know where we're at. Um, it just it just depends on what I'm trying to say at the moment, you know. Um, Originally, me and Stu knew it was going to be a dark record, but I don't think, honestly, I don't think he knew as as much. You know, I don't think mm-hmm. he knew that was going to be like, you know, the concept because, you know, it's sort of like a concept record without really saying it is, you know, because like when you have to say it's a concept record, like you have to announce it, it takes away from it. You know, it's like I kind of I kind of want the listener because now, well, now it's out there and the more you listen to it, it just kind of tells a story if you look at the cover, it's just sort of like this apocalyptic, you know, yeah. multiple tales of, of, you know, you can say a day in my life, but you know, it's, it just goes on. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think Stu was aware exactly what, what I was going to do, but um, yeah, I mean, man, I'm glad, I'm glad that people are digging it, you know, cause, cause yeah. I don't really, I don't, you know, you know, while we were doing it, it wasn't like, you know, we weren't really letting people hear it. You know, we really want to sit on it and, and not let anybody hear it, you know, besides like, you know, for very few people, you know what I mean? Yeah. So when we want, when we, we unleashed it, we wanted it to, you know, have presence. I mean, there's so much music, there's good music coming out, but a lot of it's not sticking, you know? So it's just, a way, we just want something you're going to remember, you know, just, just that shit. You know what I mean? I think it's oversaturated. I think there's a, uh... There, there, there's too much going on too fast and and pe- well it's, it's a sign of the, it's a sign of the times you know what i'm saying yeah. there's so much going on where you, where you turn around this happens this guy got shot this guy was murdered this guy's getting elected there's no food there's no lights this is you know it's <laughs> it's, it's 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 this downfall happening at such a, a fast rate you got so that right the evidence that the events that are going around us is like a whirlwind so you wake up and you're like, well, who's this guy? I didn't even know he's a, he rapped. Oh, he's got 2 million followers. Cool. Who, who, you know, who yeah. are these people? Where did these people come from? You know, so stuff happens overnight now where you don't really, you can't really process it, you know, and, it, and, 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 and it's kind of hard to enjoy music because for me, we're talking about music, something to listen to with some of these guys, it's just an outfit and, and, and it's like, okay, well, I'm going to do a video and just, and, and just rock six grand worth of gear, like if for the video, but what about the music? Does it, does, you know, 
it's 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 a scale. You know what I'm saying? I know, it's man. Like, I get it, but it, but but there's not there's 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 uh the quality control bar is not always it's not always flexing right. You know what I'm saying? So, and and yo, that's cool. If if people want to support that, if people just want to just support garbage that they put anything on vinyl, cool. They could do that because there's collectors. But it, yeah, the way. But if you're gonna collect some, collect something that's dope. Don't just collect it because it's like green vinyl or there's some splatter weird, you know, creature on it. It's like, you know, I don't know. People's people's it options and what they <laughs> and what they they you know and what they respond to is I don't I don't really get it anymore because, you know, that's connected to some whole cloud shit and that's I have nothing to do with that. That's not I don't I don't I don't care about the lunch table. I don't need to sit at that cool lunch table. You know what I mean? Yeah, pretty much, man. Pretty much. That's I, I do my own thing so. So I see, I see there that on the album you went back and got the friends, you got the boys together. You mm. know what I mean? And 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 and, and yeah. Jeez, man, I gotta tell you, brother, that <laughs> the, the that ACG song is insane, man. When them oh, you digging track, it? Oh, oh you digging man, it? Man, it's crazy. Yeah, good looks, man. Oh man, so that was yeah, that it's was, heavy, man. I, yeah, it's heavy, man. You know, Nems is you know everybody knows Nems is is, is crazy, man. It's a crazy dude, man. You know. Yeah, man. He's got them crazy lines. That's you know. So it's like, you, doesn't he? You, you put me and him together, it's it's gonna be a mess, you know. So when that album coming? When you and Nems? Oh, oh. I know. I mean, you know, that would be hard. I mean, Come on, Nems. Those man. Pretty much, man. Pretty Maybe much. Maybe one day, you know. Yeah, man. He got a lot on his plate right now. So what? So what's in the near future for you? I know you just dropped this final expenses. We're in a situation right now with too much in going on, but it's funny because you could say it's it's not too much going on, but then there's a lot going on. Because I'm talking oh, to yeah, artists that are like overwhelmed with work. Of course, the pandemic. Yeah, of course. So what? So what's going on with with with, with Lord Go? Uh, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. I mean, me me and Bill are working on a project which is Super Coven. Yes. And um, we're doing that. Um, some other stuff, uh, some other stuff with Bill. I think people are gonna dig. Uh, me and Q Unique got a got an EP that's finished. Um, oh, that's great. That is and it's great. it's it's definitely it's definitely. Um, yeah, I th I think people are gonna like that too. You know, yeah. I think that, I think that's gonna be cool. It's definitely some so, some some uh, some hard shit on that. I'm working on solo stuff. Yeah, there's a lot. It's 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 yeah, I'm not stopping, man. It's constant. That's good, man. It's constant, man. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I don't want to I don't want to talk too much about something because then it just it winds up not manifesting itself, at least the way my my life is. So it's like sometimes if I'm it's better I don't talk about it. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely, man. Like it'll, it'll it'll happen and it'll it'll, you know. So it's gonna be constant. There's gonna be, there's gonna be constant, you know, not you know. Not an overabundance, but enough projects coming out where I think people are going to be satisfied, especially over the last years, if they felt that, you know, I wasn't putting out enough material, or, or if they wanted more, you know. Yeah. So, I, I think in that, I think in that sense, they're going to be satisfied. Um, yeah, just maintaining, you know, just maintaining, man, because shit is ugly out here, you know, and there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of people where it's basically they need music just as a lifeline, just as a survival kit, you know? And it's like, I, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's like, Damn, you know, it sounds like you're talking about me, man. <laughs> I'm talking about a lot of people I'm talking about myself. I mean, you know, and yeah, man, man, I live and breathe this stuff, man. I love it, man. Love it. Love it. Love it. When you just told me right now that you're doing stuff with bill, like as an album, I'm like, Oh, this is crazy. Yeah. But that's beautiful, yeah. man. I'm so happy that you guys are still rocking. And yeah. still killing it, man. Still to this. Yo, his album, album, his album, yeah, his album is crazy, man. I don't even know what people are gonna say about it. That shit is off the hook. Everything he does is crazy, man. La Bella Medusa, man. Yo, when people hear that, ooh, yo, the joint. I mean, all the joints are fire. But the, there's crazy. a joint. There's a joint he did with uh with Conway and Farrell Munch. Yeah. Wow. It's it's ugly, bro. It's um, okay. it's not even, it's ugly. Okay, that's so, perfect, man. He's got that. He's got that. I'm pretty sure Friday, Friday is first single is dropping. So if everybody's out there listening, definitely go check that out. You know what I'm saying? From from Bill's album, because that whole album is crazy. 
Wow. So listen, tell us, tell us, uh, you know, to tell the people where they can grab the the merch and grab the the you know new project. You know, let them know like where where can where can they get yeah, it? Yeah, no doubt. Absolutely. Um, right now we got t-shirts and hoodies. You could go to brutalmusic.org.org. Um, and you'll definitely be able to find our stuff there. We got t-shirts, um, and hoodies right now. So a champion joints. So. We got that as far as merch. The vinyl, um, I'm going to make a post next week. Uh, so if people want vinyl for the pre-orders. So the vinyl, I mean, the vinyl's going to look crazy, man. You know what I mean? Well, you could put me in there. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, just, just doing that. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get the product to the people. Definitely. You know what I mean? So, so um, yeah. Yeah, man. just staying busy, man. Yeah. We appreciate you, man, you know, taking your time out. I know you're busy. Uh, definitely appreciate it. But let me ask you, if you could tell these young folks that are coming up, you know, if you could give them some heed, you know what I mean, to 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 what what, what to look out for, you know, in the hip-hop business, what, what can you say well, to them? I mean, you know, that would take 19 hours, but, <laughs> you know. I don't, I mean, break I, it I down, break if, it I down. Know, I don't know if I'm that guy. I don't know if I really should be giving anybody advice, but I mean, ultimately, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a different game now. It's a different set of rules and the rules are, there ain't no rules. So, you know, once, once you figure that out, it's, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's you know, it's bad. It's bad out there. You know, social media is a plague. You know, you open your page, you got 16 people trying to get you to, give them hundreds of dollars a month to promote you this way and that way. And this guy has, it's, it's, there's a hundred scams out there. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it you is. Know, it, it definitely and, is. and, you know, then, you know, I get emails from, uh, you know, rappers now, popular rappers asking me, you know, to send music and they heard, they heard my verse, <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, go, we heard your verse and we want to put it on a, We want to put it on a mixtape. And you know, but you got to pay us five hundred dollars to get placement. That kind of shit. It's like, what? yo, man. Yeah, man. It's it's a lot of people. It's it's, it's weird out here, man. You know, it's definitely yeah, weird. It's crazy, man. It's definitely crazy. But yeah, brother, man. Well, we appreciate you stopping by, man. Today was about you. We learned yo, some I stuff about that, you. Man. Seriously, seriously, man. That's that's that and, shit is, uh, is awesome, man. That's that's love for real. That's awesome. I, I appreciate that, man. Definitely, man. So, you know, just keep shining, brother. Keep doing your thing, man, like you've always been doing. And um, I'm watching you, man. I'm watching it. And I'm, I'm, you know, I'm enjoying every minute of it. Yo, I appreciate you know. it. We'll do this again, bro. Anytime, oh, definitely, man. man. Bring Stu back, man, so we could, you know. Yo, next time, that. bro. Ab absolutely. Next right. time. Yo, uh, yo, can I give a shout out to two of my peoples right now? Go ahead, man. It's all yo, you, give, brother. Do you. Yo, give a shout out to Mavs. Give a shout out to Big Mavs, my engineer, aka Truck Jules. Um, you know, he definitely, you know, we basically put this album together. You know what I'm saying? He did he did a lot of recording and shit and just, you know, running around and grinding. So definitely shout out to Mavs, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Jack holding it down. He's listening and shit. So yeah, man. But yeah, I appreciate it. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Definitely. And and, and um definitely I'll come back with Stu, because I know he would probably definitely want to talk to you too. Yeah, definitely, man. We really appreciate that. Yeah, I so, appreciate it. This is Let's Chop It Up with Zaz, and this is Lord Goat. All day. Yo, this is Zaz, man, from Let's Chop It Up with Zaz. You know what I mean? Make sure you check out that album, Final Expenses by Lord Goat and Stu Bangers. Entirely produced by Stu Bangers, out now on all platforms. Make sure you grab that. Peace. What's up, people? You're watching Chop It Up with my man Ziz interviewing my homie Gore-Tex, Lord Goat, talking about final expenses and all that. Stu Bangers, your boy, Brutal Music. All right? Peace.